Imagine being able to profit off of the financial markets with zero theoretical risk. Now, although this sounds way too good to be true, as does a lot of other things in the financial markets, people always seem to find a way to do it, and this is absolutely no exception. So how can you trade within the financial markets and guarantee a profit? Well, it's through a method called high frequency trading, and more specifically, what I'm going to be talking about today, which is arbitrage. Now, before I get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Also, make sure to join my Discord group down in the description down below if you would like to join our amazing community of like-minded traders who trade cryptocurrency, Forex, and the stock market every single day. And of course, if you have any questions about what I'm going to be talking about in this video, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. However, let's get right into the video by first talking about what high frequency trading is and the difference in high frequency trading versus automated trading. And of course, I'm going to be talking about specific subsections within high frequency trading as high frequency trading is way too big of a topic for just one video. So what is the difference between high frequency trading and automated trading? The biggest differentiating factor is the way that you are looking to profit off of the financial markets. In traditional automated trading, you are trying to look for patterns, for news events, for large factors that you think will move the market in a certain direction. And so that's why you'll see a lot of traders utilize stop losses or dollar cost averaging in order to try to profit off of their bets that the market is going to move in a certain direction. However, with high frequency trading, you are not looking to take a bet and gamble and saying which way the market's going to move. You're trying to look for cases in which there is a guaranteed chance of you making profit. So you want the number to be as close to 100% that you are going to make profit off of that specific opportunity or trade. So let me give you an example of this in easy to understand terms. This is a really traditional example. So let's say that I am at a trivia game show. So I'm one of the contestants. There are five contestants and we've all trained for this trivia game show our entire lives. So we're professionals. We know all the answers. So the host comes out and he has a question in order to win $1,000. And the question is, what is five plus five? Now, all the contestants, of course, they know the answer to this. They've been training for it their entire lives. So what's stopping them from getting that $1,000? Well, what's stopping them from getting that $1,000 is who can press the button first in order to answer the question correctly, right? The question that you're looking at here is not, can I get the question correct? Or can I guess which way the market's going to move? It's, can I press the button first in order to make that trade and get that profit, right? The profit is already there. You just have to be the first one in order to get it. So now let me translate this into the financial markets and give you an example of arbitrage. So let's say that Bitcoin is selling for $8,000 on an exchange that I like to use. Now I find another exchange that I also like and Bitcoin is selling for $7,950 on this exchange. Well, here's an opportunity because I can buy it for a lower price here and then sell it for the higher price right here. And that is a guaranteed profit, right? There's no risk that I'm taking. I'm not looking for a directional move in Bitcoin. Literally, all I'm looking for is to buy it at $7,950 and sell it at 8,000. That's guaranteed profit. So arbitrage is able to manifest itself in many different ways. So there was that one example that I just gave across multiple exchanges. However, this can also happen across a specific asset. So let's say that I'm trading Euro US dollar and then Australian US dollar and then Australian Euro. So what you can do here is let's say that I can buy euros and then sell the euros for Australian dollars and then sell the Australian dollars for more dollars than I initially bought euro with. 
Well, that's an example of triangular arbitrage. And I know it sounds really complicated. However, in the picture that I'm showing on screen, it will seem much more simple. So you're basically taking advantage of the price differences in assets and rebalancing prices to make sure that the exchange rate for everything is even. So not only are you able to profit off of arbitrage across different exchanges, but you can also profit off of arbitrage on a singular exchange. So let me go back to that competition that I was talking about. Obviously, this is a guaranteed way of making profit, so there are a lot of people looking to do this. And there's a finite number of opportunities that present itself in the markets because there's only so many places that the price can be different before someone's taking advantage of all of them. And so that's where the competition comes in. The risk that you're taking in high frequency trading is not the risk of buying and selling in the financial markets. It's not the risk in trading. The risk is the investment into hardware that you're making in order to try to compete with everyone else. You need to have the fastest servers. You need to have the fastest hardware out of everyone in order to win that trade. It's a race. If you are in a race, the only way that you're going to win is by being the most fit. You need to be the fastest so that you can cross that finish line, right? Anyone can try to run in a race, but only one person is going to win. And that is exactly the same in high frequency trading. A lot of people can try to compete for one trade. However, at the end of the day, only one person is going to be able to take advantage of that opportunity. So you need to invest a lot of money into hardware, into the best servers, getting it as close to the exchange as possible, etc., so that you can beat everyone else trying to do the exact same thing. Anyways, I hope that that was interesting. I hope you now have a better understanding of what arbitrage is. Obviously, high frequency trading and automated trading in general is a ginormous subject, and that is what I cover on my channel. So make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And of course, expand your trading knowledge as everything I'm talking about here can really apply in so many different ways in trading. So it's absolutely crucial that you understand how the market works. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Thank you.